Hey there, it's Dean O'Dell with Seven Gables Real Estate and the O'Dell Group. Today is December 1st. It's time for another Tustin Talks. Today we are going to look at all the data for the Orange County market and also our own analysis of the Tustin market. Look where we are today. This is North Tustin looking to the east towards Tustin Ranch. How beautiful is this? This is why people come to this area. So let's get started with the first chart. Here we go. Starting with the active listing inventory chart. We currently have 3,286 homes on the market, which is a decrease of 295 homes since our last episode two weeks ago. Last year at this time, there were only 1,457 homes on the market, and that's 56% lower than where we are today. To compare to a more normal market, we like to look at the three-year average between 2017 and 2019 and that was 5,359 homes on the market. So you can see we are quite a bit below normal. Now that we're about to go into the holiday market, we can only expect the inventory to plunge further throughout the end of the year. Starting in January, we should see more homes coming on the market. Now let's look at this demand chart. Over the last 30 days, we've had 1,212 homes go into escrow, which is actually up 10 homes from our last report. This was the first increase since mid-August. Last year, the demand was 2,221 homes. So that's, you know, that's 83% greater than where we are now. And prior to 2020, the three-year average was 1,969 homes, which is 62% higher than our current demand. Although it's not a massive drop, mortgage rates have decreased to about 6.65% for the last few weeks, and that was after being well above 7 for over a month. This has helped to sustain demand and keep it from dropping further. However, with the number of available homes decreasing, we can still expect demand to follow its normal drop through the end of the year and then rise again in January. Let's take a closer look at what we might expect with the seasonal market when it comes to inventory, demand, and expected marketing time on the next chart. Typically during the holiday market, inventory and demand plunge and expected marketing time increases slightly. This is a pattern that we've seen no matter what the economic situation. Last year, between mid-November to the start of the year, inventory dropped by 39%, demand dropped by 44%, and the expected marketing time increased by two days. Despite still being in an abnormal market after the drastic change from 2020, the regular holiday pattern prevailed. When we look at the average of the more normal years, 2017 to 2019, inventory dropped by 20%, demand dropped by 35%, and the expected marketing time increased by 19 days. November and December are the months that always yield the fewest number of sellers, and many sellers whose homes have been sitting on the market will throw in the towel to enjoy the holiday season before trying again in the new year. We will definitely see this pattern play out this year as well, as we've already seen it with the dropping inventory. Next, let's take a look at the average expected marketing time year over year. Currently, our days on the market for Orange County is at 81 days, which is the lowest level since mid-October. This means that the overall market is still a slight seller's market, which is a lot closer to a balanced market than where we were last year at 20 days. The three-year average prior to 2020 was 85 days, which is pretty close to where we are today. With the holiday market coming, we can expect the days on the market to increase slightly throughout the end of the year. Next, let's look at the marketing time by price range to get a better look at the micro markets within the broader Orange County market. If you're a buyer or seller in Orange County, this is the best chart for you to understand the market you're actually facing. Looking at this year's expected marketing time, you can see the various market types reflected in the different price ranges. Anything up to about a million five is a slight seller's market. Between 1.5 and 2 million is a balanced market. Between two to 4 million is a slight buyer's market and anything above 4 million is a deep buyer's market. It's not surprising to see that the expected marketing time has increased this year in all price ranges because it feels like the market is moving at a snail's pace in comparison to last year. However, when you compare this year to our numbers from late November 2019, take a look at this chart. You can see that the numbers aren't too far off from what was normal back then, especially above the $1.25 million mark. Finally, we'll do a quick look at our Tustin data chart, which we make on our own, so you can only find it here on Tustin Talks. Every four weeks, we show you the statistics for the Tustin micro markets in the three zip codes of 92705, 92780, and 92782. We don't have the numbers for November yet. Those are gonna be out next week, but 
we thought we should show you last month's numbers because it still didn't fall in the right pattern of our test and talks. And we want to make sure that if you're interested in those numbers, we have them here. So when you take a look at this chart, you can see that inventory is sharply up among the three price ranges. If you look at the new listings, you can see that it's only up in the 92705. It's actually down in 92780 and 92782. Next, we look at the solds. You can see the solds are down quite a bit as well and the pendings are down. So everything's down, inventory's up. So what does that mean for inventory by month? That means we have 2.9 months versus 0.4 months in North Tustin. What's a normal market? Somewhere around five to six. So we're getting there. We're getting back to a normal market in Tustin. You could see things are changing. Let's look at the active price ranges, the active solds. You can see how that's changed quite a bit. You can see that there's not a lot of active listings on in the higher end. So it's pulling down that average active price quite a bit. One thing I really want you guys to take a look at is the difference of the original list price to sold price. People are obviously about 40 to 50% of this market now are having to reduce their prices to get it sold. Okay. And most people, when they come on the market, they try to price as close to the last comparable sales as they saw. So if you look at the original list price, that was based on what they thought it might sell for, right? So that was based on what was in the past. If you look at original list price, sold price now, 92% versus 101% in North Tustin. So that means people are having to reduce quite a bit. For a while there, everything was selling well over 100%. You'd put something on and it would sell for over asking price, okay? So people are really having to come down on their prices. And you can see that across Tustin and you can see that across Tustin Legacy, Tustin Ranch. If you look at the average days on the market, you can see how that has mostly doubled in all areas. So if you wanna take a longer look, just pause this chart, but we're gonna move forward to our buyer and seller advice. All right, check it out. December 1st in Southern California. This is why we're all here, right? What beautiful weather it is today. Let me give you my advice. First, I want to tell you guys, I hope you all have a great Happy New Year and I hope you had a great Thanksgiving and you really enjoy your holidays because you've got a lot to appreciate living in this kind of community and living in this kind of weather, that's for sure. So with that said, my advice to you buyers. Well, you can see things are changing and they're changing to your favor, which is great. I'm not expecting or seeing yet anything that indicates some major price crash. People are still buying houses and there's still demand out there. This particular house I'm standing on right now, it's been so busy, it's crazy. If this isn't an escrow, you know, in the next couple of weeks, I would be really surprised. So we're selling houses in all price ranges, even in this market. It's just the speed of the market has changed. Like we showed you in that one chart, it's getting back to a normal market. That's all that's happening, okay? Until we start seeing a lot more bad news with layoffs and recession and this and that, we're gonna kind of follow this pattern. So if you see something you like, get it, okay? And rates will probably come down. They always do as things get tougher and they gotta bring us out of it, right? So stay tuned for that. Sellers. Okay, sellers, you cannot price ahead of the market anymore. That game is over, okay? You can't price with the idea that you're gonna get 10 offers anymore. Again, for you guys, everything's going back to normal. What is normal? Well, normal is getting somebody who's experienced in your area to give you advice. This is not the days anymore that you call your friend who's out of the area that's just gonna come list your house and give you a good deal on it. Because you know what? When prices are going backwards, every day your house isn't selling, it's costing you money. And right now, prices are going backwards. So anyway, we wanna give you some good advice. We wanna help you get that top dollar for your house. And we certainly know how to do it after being in this area for so, so long. This is a skills-based market. You need people with experience. The Odell Group has it for you. Give us a call, we'd love to help you out. Thanks, bye-bye.